welcome to the 39th country I visited. This is Andorra, the sixth smallest country in Europe and the 16th smallest country in the world. Andorra is a landlocked nation nestled within the mountains of northeastern Spain. Since this tiny country has no airport, the best way to get there is to fly into Barcelona or Toulouse and take a comfortable bus ride from there. Destinació a Andorra. El viatge tindrà una durada aproximada de 3 hores. Stop border control on the border between France and Andorra. Very painless process, took about 15 minutes to get through border control. Got a phone call to stamp up my passport. Ready to keep going. Almost in Andorra. Country number 39. currently in the capital of Andorra. It's a city called Andorra la Vela. What's interesting is that this city is surrounded by mountains and there are huge stones that are built into the architecture of many of the buildings throughout the city. For example, right now I'm in a parking lot and there's like huge stones bordering the parking area. You don't see this every day. This is the highest capital city in Europe at an elevation of 3,356 feet above sea level. This is the strangest clock I've ever seen to date here in Andorra. I think this is surrealism type of artwork here. You have the clock that's melting. Looks a bit like a foot at the top, I'm not sure. And there's an angel hanging out. This is by the artist Salvador Dali, if you know who that is. I don't. Interestingly, although the euro is the official currency here, Andorra is not a member of the European Union. This is the caldera, the largest thermal spot in Europe, located in the sixth smallest country in Europe. It's supposed to have thermal waters of various temperatures, saunas, steam rooms, water massages, light rooms. You do have to make an appointment to get in. Luckily, I booked a 4 p.m. session for three hours. Let's check it out. There's multiple swimming areas here. This is the interior main hall with the four bath areas, I want to say. We're in an outdoor hot tub in the city behind me. This small section is part of the spa. small easy river that I'm currently in goes around in a few loops. It's not very big, not very fast. We don't have those rubber floaty tubes so it's not the best but it's okay. It's like a little attempt at a lazy river. The sun has set on our first night here in Andorra. We are waiting with a large cut of people for a nighttime show of some kind on this bridge behind the clock. Good morning YouTube, it's my second day here in Andorra. Just finished up a lovely breakfast at my hotel. Today I'm gonna go on what I hope is a short hike up to something called Mirador del Rock. That's an observation area in the top of the Pyrenees Mountains, about half an hour from here. Just made it to the top, walking to the observation area. There's a little bar or shop here, information desk. We are pretty early, so no one is here yet. The views are beautiful, as always when you're at the top of a mountain. It was a very long and winding road to get up here with a car. I would definitely recommend 
taking a taxi. There is a hiking trail. It cuts through the uh, driving areas, but it's a very steep walk up this mountain. I wouldn't recommend it, but you do you. <laughs> Once you get off the taxi, there's about a 10 minute scenic walk that you take from the car's drop off area to the observation deck. It's free to walk pretty close to the observation area. But if you want to go to the actual observation deck, which you're going to want to go to because that's where the best views are, it's five euros to get in. That's kind of how they get you. It's free for most of it, but if you want the really good stuff, you got to pay. Leaving the observation deck, we stumbled across these cows. It's lunchtime over here. If you want to go up to the bridge connecting two mountains, that's where we're going right now. You're going to want to head down to the parking lot right next to the observation deck, catch one of these buses. They run about every 15, 20 minutes and ride one stop. It's going to drop you right up at the bridge and the bridge is about a 600 meter walk. It should be pretty fun. To get off the bus you're gonna have to keep walking about half a mile going uphill not a terrible walk pretty smooth areas but you are going uphill and up the mountain this is a 603 meter crossing connecting two mountains here in andorra it looks pretty stable not too wobbly but you are completely exposed to a very large drop let's do it the bridge is actually pretty wobbly the wind will pick up at times I'm trying very hard not to look down. I did have to stop a few times. It's definitely not very comfortable crossing this thing. And uh, an older lady was walking by and laughing at me because I was not enjoying myself. But uh, yeah, it's a little scary. It's a little scary. Don't look down. When the wind picks up, you hear things rattling and shaking. The closer you get to the middle of the bridge, the more it wobbles and the more you hear the sound of the stream going under you. This is not very fun, but I'm doing it. Slowly finish that adventure. That was not at all enjoyable for myself. If you're not too afraid of heights and want an adventurous activity to do here in Andorra, this is definitely a good option for you. We're sitting at the cafe at the base of the uh, bridge access point, enjoying a nice coffee and lots and lots of wind. They have some of the nicest, most comfortable buses of any country I've seen. And it's fully air conditioned, which is very helpful in the summertime. And now for the really important question, should you visit Andorra? I will say there was much more to do in Andorra than I expected going in. The food was excellent, definitely very heavy Spanish influence on the cuisine and I love Spanish food so I had a great time dining here. Now overall I had a good time here in Andorra. It is a bit inconvenient to get here because there is no airport. The easiest ways to get here are to either take a bus from Toulouse, France or Barcelona, Spain. So it is a bit of a commitment to make your way over here. But if you do, I think you'll have a good time. Well, that's all I have for Andorra. Tomorrow I'm off to Madrid, Spain. I hope to see you guys there. Till next time.